You know, I think one of the mistakes in our industry, Brendan, is as coaches or companies, uh, and we, 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 we speak in such transactional terms. Like if you do this activity and you go find that person that's ready to set an appointment, go out there, do this great listen presentation and convert it. And then tomorrow, go repeat. And I do believe in things like you start every day at zero. You know, I, I, I do believe that, right? But I think there's more to the conversation. And that is, you know, you go out there and you, you know, you, you, you lead generate and you're looking for business today. But while you're looking for business today, so many agents are tripping over a lot of future business that they're, they're in communication with people that are going to do something into the future, in the future, but they don't notice it. Mm. And I think that's, I think, what did you call it? Compound? It was compound effect. Uh, compound effect, I think. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and it's like, I, what I was thinking one day, I remember I was being trained to, to lead generate, lead generate. And, you know, if you talk to so many people, you're going to eventually get to a yes. But a light bulb went off in my head and said, well, what about all these people that are saying no? Because people weren't saying no, they were just saying, no, we're not really interested at this time. And then I started thinking, well, everybody is probably going to sell someday in the future, whether I'm still in the business or not, or I'm even still alive. I believe every property will be sold at some point. So no's are really not right now's. Mm -hmm. So while I was focusing on monetizing the yeses, I started thinking, well, what what kind of communication and value do I need to bring people to be able to monetize the nose? So today's efforts can get me a transaction today, but can also get me transactions in the future. 